Hey everybody, good morning on this beautiful Wednesday. I hope you're doing well. I hope you and your families are healthy. Now for today's video, I'm gonna go over our topic for my suggested reading and writing. Today's topic is solitude. I'm gonna have three poems for you to take a look at. And also on your assignment today, there is a podcast you could take a listen to, and then also another nonfiction essay about the same topic that's going to give you a few more resources to take a look at those being some more poems and the poets for each poem and then also finally some guides for the poems i want to go over my writing sample after that talk about the poems briefly talk about the podcast and the article and then i also have my daily thematic song but we'll get there at the end now we're thinking about the topic of solitude. It's something we're all dealing with in some capacity right now. As I've gone through the past several weeks of my life, I have had remarkably low instances of interacting with other people, unless it is through a video meeting, a phone call, or extensive amounts of text messages. I just haven't had a lot of actual physical interactions with other people. Now that's just a sign of the times that we're currently living in. And that brings me to my topic of solitude. Sometimes we choose it for our own pleasure or to better ourselves. Sometimes it's just a result of the way we feel. And it can feel like other people are forcing us into solitude. Now, I've got my three poems, right? I've got Alone by Edgar Allan Poe, On Broadway by Claude McKay, and I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud by William Wordsworth. Each of these poems helps explain a different capacity of solitude and the way the poets responded to it. Now, I know everybody loves Edgar Allan Poe, and you should. He's a very good writer and a very good poet. You take a look at the poem, Alone. This is a poem where the speaker is telling us, listen, from the time I was a kid, I felt different and separate from other people. If some kids are saying that they saw red, this speaker in Edgar Allan Poe's poem, he saw blue. If they saw something happy, he saw something sad. If they saw something beautiful, to use the last line of the poem, he saw a demon or something like that. So sometimes, just the way we feel and the way we see the world, it can give us this sense of solitude. Even when we're completely surrounded by other people, we might still feel the sense of loneliness. Claude McKay builds on that idea in their poem on Broadway. I don't know if you can imagine this, but bear with me and imagine you're in a crowded area. Maybe that is at Wrigley right after the game when everybody's leaving. Maybe you're on a street like Broadway and there's all of these people milling and passing you and walking all around you. And even in these big crowds of people, we can still feel alone. Those are kind of those moments I engage in people watching where I know I am actively surrounded by people, physical bodies, but they're not paying attention to me. Maybe I look a little innocuous. Maybe I look in a way that people just kind of avoid me or ignore me. And that allows me to be observant, to take a look at what people are doing. What are they wearing? If they're talking, what are they talking about? And how are they talking? Claude McKay, they imagine themselves on Broadway in New York, and they can have this moment of self-reflection where you think about your own life when you're surrounded by other people, but you've still got this sense of solitude because nobody's really talking to you. Nobody's interacting with you. They're just letting you be so you can come to terms with your own thoughts and feelings. The final poem for today, everybody, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud by Williams William Wordsworth. It is a classic poem, William Wordsworth. He is a classic poet from the English Romanticism. Talked about that a little bit in yesterday's video. 
And this final idea of solitude, everybody, is that there might be these moments. Let's say you're out in nature where you understand you're away from people, you're isolated in some capacity, you have this sense of solitude, and it's not a bad thing. If you take a look at the writing of Wordsworth, it almost seems like a sense of freedom is gained. When we have this sense of solitude, we're able to be alone and with ourselves. So we can come to terms with any changes that are in our lives. Maybe we have to think about new thoughts and feelings from new people that are entering our lives. And so from each one of these poems, taking a look at Alone by Edgar Allan Poe, starting with the individual, isolated, expanding to On Broadway by Claude McKay, where we still focus on the individual, but in a big crowd of people. And then finally, the sense of solitude, I would say it evolves to Wordsworth, where we have an individual who is isolated in the great expanse of nature, but their sense of solitude is positive because they finally have space to think, to feel, or maybe just to breathe and catch their breath. Now, as you go through this, take a look at the prompt, do some writing about it, read the poems. If you have time, you should take a look at the podcast, Loneliness Rhymes and Slippery Slopes. It's by the editorial staff of PoetryFoundation.org. It's going to give you some more poems about solitude. And then the authors themselves, they're going to walk you through their poems, explain them to you. So as you take a listen, and maybe you can look them up on the organization's website. And if you take a read through these poems, you can understand them. And you can know what the author is talking about. And then finally, everybody, we have this final essay that you can take a look at. It is First Loves by Brett Fletcher Lauer and Lynn Melnick, something like that. Sorry if I got that a little bit long, but take a look at this essay. It's the same format as the podcast. It's more poems for you to take a look at, more guides for the poems, and some interviews from the authors, so you make sure you understand everything. Now, everybody, before I go, daily thematic song. It is, Is There a Ghost? by Band of Horses. It deals with loneliness. It deals with solitude. It deals with spooky ghosts. Three things I'm kind of a fan of, all right? Everybody, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're doing some daily reading and writing. I hope if you need anything, you can feel free to reach out through an email. We can have a Google Hangout. We can talk on the phone if that's what it takes. But I'm here if you need me, all right? One final thing, everybody, Hannah Banana recommended that I buy a microphone she said that might help these videos a little bit. I did. I like it. I feel pretty fancy. And I feel like the videos have benefited as a result. So positive thoughts to Hannah Banana today. Positive thoughts to all of you. As I hope you do, some reading and writing. Let's get to it, everybody. Have a good day.